Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy, and today I'm going to be talking about Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, Book 3, The Ship of the Dead, by Rick Riordan. And I apologize in advance that I'm kind of losing my voice. Like, it'll get croaky at some points, and so yeah, I'm sorry about that. But this is the third book in the series, and the first book follows Magnus Chase, who is homeless, who ends up dying and going to Valhalla, which is like the Norse mythology place where people who die heroically go after they die heroically, and he ends up on a quest to stop Ragnarok or Doomsday, and yeah, that's basically the gist of the first book. So if you have not read that book, I recommend you leave this video now because I'm about to get into some spoilers. So this book is the third book in the series. I don't know why I have to keep saying that. But Magnus and these peoples, um, let's see, Magnus, Alex, TJ, Halfborn, Mallory, Blitz, Hearth, and Sam are preparing for their quest and so they're on the boat and they go, and uh, Magnus ends up saying that he will challenge Loki to a fighting, and that is basically a battle of insults, so he's kind of an idiot for challenging the god of mischief and of silver tongues and stuff to a battle of the wits, but you know what, he's Magnus, so yeah, so he ends up doing that, and so they have to do that, and they have to do that. Wow, that was a lot of do that. So, if you have not... Actually, no. Let's talk about the characters first, and then, yeah. Okay, so, the characters in this book are so diverse, and I love it so much. First, there's Magnus, and he is brave and incredible. That's basically all I got. He's amazing, and he's selfless, and he loves his friends so much, and I just, I don't know. I don't know. Then there's Sam, and she's fasting for Ramadan, which is the Muslim month of fasting, and so she has, like, she can't eat during the day, and so she's doing this quest and battling giants and stuff while she is, like, starving. So that's awesome. She is so determined and so faithful because, like, no matter what happens, she stays true to her faith, and I love her so much. Okay, and then there's Blitzen. In this book, he is so brave. He stands up for Hearthstone, like, in the face of death, and I love that part so much. And then Hearthstone has to go back to Alfheim to face his troubled past once more, but he is still so forgiving. No matter what Mr. Alderman does to him, he still wants to forgive him, and I just feel so bad for Hearth. It's just a terrible, terrible past for him. Then there's TJ, who um, talks, this book talks a lot about his experiences as an Af African American during the Civil War, and I love that. I love how hilarious he is. He is so thankful. After years, he still is like going around thanking people in um, England for not joining a side in the Civil War, and I was so, I was laughing. He's going up to people and they're thinking he's crazy. I'm just like, oh my god, TJ, I love you. <laughs> Then Halfborn, he's kind of crazy and crazy. And that's basically all I got for Halfborn. He's crazy. <laughs> then there's Mallory, and she is so ruthless on the outside, but she really does care about her friends, and I love her. She's also very clever. The way she uses the whetstone. Oh my god, I love her so, so much. Anyways, um, then there is, oh, Alex. Alex Fierro is my favorite character, absolute favorite character. Alex is gender fluid, and in this book, so fearless, and I just love Alex so much. Like, I don't know what else to say. Alex is, like, the best character by far in this series. Okay, so now, if you have not read this book, leave this video now because I'm about to spoil, and let's face it, nobody likes having a book spoiled for them. At least I don't. Bye, people who have not read this book, I will see you later. Okay, so they go and they need to find Kavasir's Mead, but first they need to find the Whetstone, so Blitz, Hearth, and Magnus go find that and they go back to Alfheim and face Mr. Alderman who is now a dragon and then Hearth when Hearth summons his brother to try to make Mr. Alderman see sense I was just like oh my god my heart it's dying right now like poor Hearth I could not 
if I were Harv, I would just probably wither up and die. I'd be like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> But Blitzen and stands up for Hearth in front of Mr. Alderman, and I love that part so much. Blitzen and Hearth have such a great relationship, and I just, I love their, their friendship. It's so adorable, and I love it so much. And then Hearth, when he's talking to his brother, his brother tells him that he wanted to be like Hearth, and my heart was just like, oh my god, poor Hearthstone. Like, I wish that his brother could come back. And then I feel like it would be so much better for Hearth. But at least he has Blitzen, so that's good. Like, without Blitzen, I don't know where Hearth would be. And that's what friendship's all about, you know? Like, you pe you keep each other going in times of struggle. I don't know where this is going. Anyways, they have to figure out where Kavasir's mead is. So then Alex and TJ end up challenging the giant. Well, the giant challenges them. So Alex has to make Pottery Barn, which is so funny. And then Pottery Barn wins, and TJ also beats the giant, and I just felt so great for both of those characters that they overcame that obstacle, and I was just like, yes, you go, guys. And then, let's see, they look for Kavasir's mead, and then Mallory uses the whetstone to kill all the giants, and I was like, that is so smart. But at the same time, I felt kind of bad for the giants, because they're just slaves and doing their job, and like... Why'd they have to die? But I know it was the only way, so it's fine, whatever. They're gonna save the world, it's great. But they go and they find the mead, and then Halfborn ends up battling one of the giants on his own and defeating him because he is protecting his homeland, and that was so funny. He was like, yeah, I guess I kinda do care about this place after all. I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like, yes, a lot in this book. Whatever. Anyways, so then they go to... I'm sorry for waving this around. I don't know what is my problem. Then they go to um, the ship, and Magnus challenges Loki to the flighting. And Loki is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking Magnus. And I'm like, okay, uh, when's Magnus gonna start winning this thing? Like, when's it gonna happen? Hello, this needs a happy ending. And then it finally happened, and he realized what he had to do. And he used the positivity of his beautiful friendship and all of his friends. And he beat Loki with positivity instead of negativity. And he made Loki see how alone he really was. And I was just like, beautiful. That's just so beautiful. And so they beat Loki, and then everyone goes back to Valhalla, everything is happy. Oh, and the chase place. This was such a great ending. Magnus and Alex work together to end Blitz and Hearth. They work together to make the Randolph's mansion into the chase place, which is like a shelter for homeless teens in Boston. And it made me so happy because, like, finally he, like, he's always wanted to take action, but he finally did, and it was just a great great ending to this series like oh my god I love it so much and so I think that the theme of this whole series was definitely friendship because all the characters are so their friendship is so tight and they stick together no matter what and it doesn't matter who they are like doesn't matter if you're gender fluid or African American or Muslim like everyone is friends with everyone and it just made me so happy to see their bond and that they would do anything for each other. That was just so great to me. And I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars and the whole series a 5 out of 5 stars because Rick Riordan, yet again, created such a beautiful, beautiful series and, like, so hilarious, so, such a great story and such great characters. That's really the best part about these books is the characters, how incredibly amazing and complex they are and oh my god if I could meet them I would like die inside because I would be so happy like I would have a heart attack if I could like meet these people and the characters in person that would be awesome but that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed today's video maybe subscribe I post videos every Sunday and yeah I think that's it I'll see you guys next time bye